So my name's Tom Hill. I'm an account rep for uh, IBM. I work with our uh, connected operations and connected products uh, portfolio covering NASA, the uh, Department of Energy, Missile Defense Agency, and the USDA. Change is a challenging process. It does take a lot of commitment and uh, sort of stamina to get through the process to get where you want to be. But uh, the options aren't that great. If you don't adapt and overcome to the new problems and challenges, then uh, you're probably going to have trouble sustaining your organization. I've got to be able to help those customers realize the benefits that our tools and uh, products and services can offer obviously faster. People are not as patient as they once were. So, uh, you know, there are problems that they're trying to deal with and we've got to get those problems solved and, uh, and get them back on the right track. Today, the complexity of these systems uh, is getting, uh, you know, much larger or much more difficult. You know, you, you think back to, uh, you know, the early days of space travel, you know, that was 50 years ago. And, uh, you know, it was Werner von Braun that said the best uh, guidance computer they could put on a spacecraft was a human being, and it was also the only one that could be mass produced by unskilled labor. Uh, now we've got to build all that flexibility and smarts that would be, uh, you know, in that human guidance computer into uh, a device. And uh, that's a very difficult thing to do. How many sales reps does it take to change a light bulb? Uh, just one, but the light bulb's got to want to change. So I can't really do that on my own. All I can do for these folks is present our solutions and capabilities within reason of what they can do, help to remove any barriers to uh, adopting those solutions and, uh, you know, moving down the road. Uh, it's, a, it's a team effort uh, amongst the folks at IBM and the customers. So, uh, you know, I guess for myself, I try to make sure they have reasonable expectations and I try to make sure that we, uh, you know, get the barriers out of the way so they can see the, the benefits. I think in two years, um, we're still going to be on the path. Uh, we're in a scenario now where we can gather a tremendous amount of data. Uh, and data by itself is really no good. Matter of fact, too much data, you can find yourself awash in data trying to figure out what to do with it. So I think that where we're going to be probably in two years is moving further and further down the road to doing the analytics of that data to get actual, you know, actionable things that can be done to leverage the data and to solve problems and to realize the benefits. Well, hopefully in five years, we'll be getting to the point where, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's more of a boxed solution. Now it's, uh, it's a little bit of a cookbook solution where, uh, you know, you've got to determine what it is you want to do, pick out the bits and pieces that can do that, and then build the system. I I'm hoping in, you know, five, ten years, these things are going to be a little bit more off the shelf. In that five years, the opportunity for a company like IBM is to become very good at getting these solutions out of the box as quickly as possible and, uh, you know, getting value for the customers. That's, that's uh, you know, that's the trick. For myself, the thing that I find most exciting is when you go in and you find a customer that has an issue that we have a product or solution that can solve that problem and to see that uh, uh, organization overcome that barrier, overcome that obstacle and do their job better. I think that's, that's a very uh, rewarding thing. I'm fortunate to have great customers and uh, JPL is, is, uh, is definitely one of them, if not the best one. So it's very exciting to see them do what they're doing and uh, have success. So it's, it's a great pleasure, very gratifying to work with them.